Hey guys, Turner Reynolds here at John's Furniture Repair. And we've got a new project that we're gonna be starting. And it's this uh, liquor cabinet here. So it's kind of a cool piece, but it's in bad shape. And uh, the customer uh, had removed a lot of the veneers that were peeling and it's kind of beyond uh, what they want to pay for doing a complete restoration. So we're going to be doing a painted finish on this guy and uh, restoring it in that way. So basically I'm going to take everything apart uh, and prep it for paint. So it's kind of a cool little piece. Uh, the inside's needing some work as well. And these two sides open up. We've got a high gloss black uh, surface up here you can see and inside you've got a whole bunch of uh, little slots for wine glasses and cups and bottles so it's a really cool piece and I think it'll look pretty good when we're done with it we're gonna keep those high gloss black panels I'm just gonna buff those up fix the damage on them so the color that they chose and we're gonna do two tones of this color is a uh, kind of a navy gray blue here. And we're gonna be doing a lighter tone of the same color on the interior. So what I'm gonna do is get this whole thing apart and just prep the finish itself for paint. And uh, what I'll have to do with these areas that the veneer is missing is just sand them smooth and fill any areas that were gouged out and make sure they're nice and smooth for paint as well. So we'll get to taking it apart and getting all the hardware off and sanding for paint. All right guys, so I've got this thing completely dismantled, all the back panels and the mirror and the doors all out of there all over the shop and uh, I've been sanding the front of this to smooth out all those veneer areas and this. So once I've got it upside down, I always check the base and this had water damage. So I knew there was gonna be issues. Um, everything's loose. There's missing corner blocks. Um, these are all kind of rusted in. So I'm gonna be changing those out. I'm just gonna take things apart, add corner blocks where they're missing and re-glue this base before I uh, put it back on a speed it'll be all right good morning guys it's Turner from john's furniture repair uh back in the shop this morning let's get these clamps off okay so now that it's all nice and firm i'm gonna drill this The countersink. Make sure that's nice and cleaned out. <clears throat> Just want to measure this. I think I might go for a little bit shorter of a screw. I feel like that's just going to be a better idea. So I'm going to do that also on this side. And uh, the rest of the base is really nice and firm. So no more movement anywhere. Corner blocks are nice and glued down. Everything looks really tidy. So I'm happy with how that's turning out. So I did some puttying last night on some of the areas that were needing it. So let's give those a sand.
Okay, so now that we've got the base all taken care of and it's nice and sturdy, looking good, we can get onto the sides. So this whole thing has been finished over by something. Um, like a poly or water-based something. It's not sticking. Um, a lot of times I just prep a finish for paint and I don't remove it because if someone wants to take off the paint later, it's easier if the old finish is still on and then I don't have to do a sealer coat back onto the piece. But this has got globby, gross, something on top of the whole finish, the original finish, and it's, you can see, it's just gonna pop right off. Um, and it's just needing to come off or else my, well, it's rough for one, but also my lacquer paint won't adhere to the, this bad finish and it'll look super uneven. So sometimes you just gotta take it right back down to the wood and then I'll do some sealer coats if someone did want to refinish this back to the wood, they would have to do a lot of veneer work, but at least um, all the surfaces are prepped. Okay, and we'll scrape this off. Okay, so it looks like we got a little bit of loose veneer on this back area here. So I'm just gonna lift up as much as I can. And get some glue in there. All right, and then I'll just get a clamp on it. Okay, so I've got it sitting sitting up on its feet and this part is pretty water damaged. 
um, and the finish that someone put on uh, kind of dripped in into the interior here. So what I think I'm gonna do is sand this surface. A lot of water damage in this corner and in these guys. Um, but I'm not gonna strip it because I think it's gonna make too much of a mess. And I'm not gonna strip these uh, sides here or this back piece. So I think if I just remove the finish here and then in some of the circles that are really water damaged, I'm just going to actually, this fits right in here nicely. So hopefully that works. Um, but for the other ones, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six other uh, circles that are pretty um, water damaged. I'm gonna have to uh, do some scraping by hand in there and then putty these splits that um, have happened because of the water damage and uh, get those sanded down and nice. The other ones I'll just prep sand that are in pretty good condition for paint. So uh, I've got my sandpaper to 120 here to take off some of this finish. And uh, let's sand it off and start that way. bad ones that's flaking off here so I'll work a little harder at that but that's basically what I'm going to do for the holes that are water damaged um, there's a couple of them in this corner and a few more where the, the holes are just splitting you can see there splitting and then finishes flaking so I'll just keep working at these and then I'll have to hand sand this whole surface again because I'll probably get a few scratches around the holes while I'm working at it. But other than that, I think uh, just sanding these sides here, this uh, should be all nice and prepped. So the tops here are in pretty bad condition, so we'll also strip those. And then we have one more side, and then the case is pretty much there. All right, so got a bunch of these guys stripped scraped and sanded and the ones that were okay we just sanded got the interior sanded everywhere the tops both sides stripped puttied sanded a bit of putty marks left to sand there the interior sanded the sides did a little bit of putty work in there so that will need to get sanded. But other than that, this case is done.
Okay, so we're done stage one buffing. You can still see there's lots of swirl marks in there. So it's on to next stage two. I'm gonna use a finer pad. Give it a good shake. We got rid of all the swirl marks and all the scratches. So now we just need to work up the grits. So I'll prime my pad here. A little bit more on the dry spots. Put my level one away. In case I get confused. All right, and then we'll work up with this boss. So all the doors are stripped and sanded uh, up to 180 hand sanded some putty left to do on these ones that's in the works so a little bit more sanding and off to the booth I've ordered the paint color and uh, it's going in a bare calligraphy kind of a dark navy blue and the interior is gonna be a lighter shade of the same color. So I'm just gonna wait for that to come in and get to work on some other things in the meantime. I've got everything clear coated. So I'm gonna paint the inside first. There's all the backs of the doors that I've got ready to go. So I mixed up a uh, some of the paint just with some white paint in it. So this is gonna be the two-tone look. Um, it's going to look a little darker when it's in the cabinet, so I want it to go a little bit lighter. But that's the two colors that I've got going. So I'm going to do the inside first, and then tape everything off to the outside. So all of this uh, on the inside, and then down here in the backs of the doors. All right.
So there we go. Everything's got heavy two coats on it. I'm gonna let that sink in and do its thing. Looks like I've got a few more cracks that I didn't see when I was doing stuff. So I'm gonna fill those as well. You always find stuff after the first coat of paint. And uh, these things are still open in the grain. So I'll be sanding those down and doing another coat. I might go a little darker. I'm not sure if I'm really liking how milky this is. I mean, the color is milky in the first place, but maybe I'll go a little closer to this color. Too much of a contrast. So I might add some more of the dark into the second, but that's okay. I can do that now. So we'll let this dry and sand it down and do some repairs, mix some new paint and get back at it. Okay, so yesterday I deepened the color and gave this another coat. You can see how much I did. So this is the color that I first mixed. I think I went a little bit too much in the white for sure. I like this a lot more now with the contrast with the dark colors. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. Uh, I'm gonna sand everything down and uh, give it one more coat on the interior. And then I'll need to let that dry for a while so I can tape it off and do the exterior work. So I'll sand this down and uh, give another coat. Got the two tone done. Looks pretty good. Inside is lighter than the outside. You can see that line there. And then I've got the teak left on the outside and the tops. So this is all done. Just gotta put these guys back on. I'll probably do another coat on all the doors. But the tops are finished over there. So those are ready to go back on. So I'll give these a sand down with 320 and hit them again.
Okay, so it's done. I think it looks really sharp, but I almost wished I would have left the doors well enough too. But I wanted to give her enough blue that she asked for, so I didn't want to push it. But uh, definitely loving the contrast of the wood with the blue color and the gold on the blue is good too. So I like how it turned out. So we left the tops and the sides walnut. Everything else on the outside is a dark blue. And then on the insides here, we've got our polyurethane, uh, polyester finish that we rebuffed on the bar tops. And the interior is a lighter shade of the same blue. You can see there. So that looks really good. We got all of the little cracks and things dealt with in there that we were working on. Um, the doors are also a lighter blue on the inside. So this is our faux finish on our handles, kind of a matte uh, gold and on the interior here I've added a catch just because they don't have the key anymore and that was the only thing that closed it and the interior is a lighter blue as well and we did everything in there the shelf the sides the bottom everything was out and dealt with so that's all taken care of in there and we shine these handles up as well so I've got a uh, matte brass finish on the hinges and each of the little screws on the hinges is painted as well. And uh, those guys are painted as well as these guys. Everything is just kind of detailed out. So uh, yeah, I think she's gonna really like it. I'm gonna try to get her reaction on camera to see if she'll let me film her when she comes in because she doesn't know what to expect right now. And uh, I kind of want to see what she thinks when she comes in, be able to tell if she likes it or not. But I mean, you wouldn't even know it was painted from some angles. It looks really good. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other videos. If you enjoy watching what we do here in the shop and uh, yeah, enjoy.